Look at this shot. Houghton, Michigan. Snow still, you could call it maybe gangbusters. Michigan Tech and Houghton, the Upper Peninsula, four inches has been reported just north of Houghton, but the top snow total in Michigan is a two-day tally of a foot, 12 inches, Mount Arvon. Hmm. Uh, it's 55 miles south of, of Houghton. So, yeah, we have some snow producing, some decent accumulations right now. You do have to sort of focus, fixate on, on where that snow right now is, is moving through. A couple of dynamics playing out. With this broad spin that we have, the, the lakes remaining unfrozen, um, we're getting the lake effect snow, Brie, you'll cover that. But, Kendall, the, uh, the other component that we have, even into the northeast today, the, the threat for these snow squalls. Right. That's also a thing. We also have some dry air, so yeah. there's a chance that you might be looking at snow and it's not even falling. Yeah, I mean, it, we, we do. We have that colder air loft and then the, a little bit of instability. So there's the potential that, yes, we could have some snow squalls, but we haven't seen any so far, at least. So that's the good thing. I remember I was I was covering this yesterday with Craig Carrera, and we did have a few. So it's okay, definitely not out of the realm of possibility. But yes, we are told that there is snow in Detroit. Did in, you see any? in Detroit, uh, I have not been able to see any in Detroit just yet. But I mean, we're sitting at 31 degrees. We have a strong wind out of the northwest, gusting up to about 20 miles per hour right now. So yeah, that's definitely what's leading to this production of the lake effect snow. Kalamazoo. Eight miles visibility. South Haven, though, three miles. But Holland, just down to a half a mile. So if you have any plans on, on traveling from Grand Rapids over to Holland or vice versa, just I would hold off on doing so because it's, it's going to be a little treacherous for the time being. We know that it's an intense kind of short burst of snow, yeah. but, but still it could be very dangerous if you get caught in it. Our fellow resident. Former, <laughs> former resident. Mich Michigan. I feel like I have a long list of former residents <laughs> on residents. my name. <laughs> Are you impressed by it? Uh, par I'm, for the course? I Yeah, more par for the course. Yeah. So I lived in Sault Ste. Marie, other side of the Upper Peninsula. Uh, we moved away from Michigan in the month of May, and my car got stuck in the snow. So it does leaving. snow in May. So it does happen <laughs> until you're past Mother's Day. Actually, I had snow on Mother's Day one of the times that we were up there. So, you know, it, it happens. Uh, but... Lake Superior is one of those lakes that rarely does completely freeze over. So then you're left on just the trajectory of the wind to be able to produce that. Now, what I am impressed by is the Tug Hill Plateau. Now, Lake Erie and Lake Ontario and also, you know, it, it just you get a different ice coverage on these lakes. It depends on the depth. It depends on the part of the lake. Yeah. The fact that the Tug Hill Plateau is going to light up like those this be in March. Those yeah. should be frozen. I'm right. pretty impressed by that. I mean, that's over a foot and a half that's possible for parts of the Tug Hill Plateau. That's something that I wouldn't necessarily expect mid to late March. Yeah, that's a good point. I do want to briefly mention we have Detroit. And I did yes. see some flakes fly. So you have to really squint. have to squint. It's there. Flint, you don't have to squint quite as hard. Well, Mount, 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 <laughs> Arvon, still squint. Mount Ar Arvon, with that two-day total of about a foot, that's impressive. But, yeah, downwind of Lake Ontario, you've got the Tug mm -hmm. Hill. So you have elevation to work with. So with that plateau, the slightly higher elevation, that would help squeeze out additional moisture. Uh, but that is that is an impressive amount. This is through Wednesday. We'll have another – not all of this is falling today. Keep that in mind. we got another impulse yes. Tuesday yeah. mm -hmm. that's going to and move that's in. Also something to bring about. This is not just lake effect snow. No, it's it's what we call lake enhanced mm -hmm. snow. Yeah. We have a legitimate storm or impulse of energy. I, w I don't know if I really want to call it a storm because it is kind of eh. it's weak. Yeah. yeah, it's weak. It's yeah. not like, oh my gosh, the storm's coming. Yeah. But we have an impulse of energy, so to speak, that's going to come across the Great Lakes. And so there's a difference between pure lake effect snow that's driven by the wind direction, this intense temperature difference between the lake and the air. There's the impulse. There it comes. So yeah. again, that's what produces yeah. the majority of the snow, and it's just enhanced by the lake.